Well, hey friends, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a ministry update for Love and Truth Network as well as Transforming Congregations. I am here at the beautiful Ridgecrest Retreat Center in North Carolina, in the Black Hills of North Carolina. And I have been here so many times before for a variety of different conferences. It's been a place of huge blessing for us. But we are here this week for the CMDA conference, the Christian Medical and Dental Association conference. And this is the third year that we've exhibited at it. We've paid a significantly higher cost than just having uh, an exhibit table because we were able also to do a video to be played in front of the 900 plus uh, medical uh, doctors, dentists, students, and their spouses and families that are here with them. We've been able to uh, play that video and everyone has heard over the last three years we've done this, everyone has heard about the Ministry of Love and Truth Network. I have so many people that come up to me in the lunch rooms in the past and we're just getting started with the first day here at uh, CMDA and already I'm bumping into a lot of people who have met us in the past, who've had deep conversations, have shared really personal things about themselves, their families, asking for prayer, asking for wisdom and advice, picking up the resources that we have available. And, and many of these folks have really significant influence in their churches. And so we're just asking folks to introduce us to their pastors and uh, the Christian leaders in their churches in their spheres of influence. And so we're really excited about what God has done over the last couple of years and what he's yet going to do in this conference as we're just getting it kicked off. We just appreciate you so much. For those of you who pray for us, that is essential. We couldn't do this work without your prayer covering. For those who are able to give to us and have been so generous with us, we so appreciate what you're able to do. And for those who have not given or or maybe periodically give, uh, we so appreciate it when, uh, when, again, when you just step up and step in and help support the work of Love and Truth Network or Transforming Congregations. And so we are grateful again to be here and to be connecting with people. We're excited about what uh, lies ahead. We have a great uh, booth space with lots of traffic uh, this first day uh, coming by and, and visiting with us and uh, again just engaging with us there are a lot of people that are here as first-time attenders and so again really excited to have those brand new introductions uh, to those folks and um, Melissa actually is not here with me this particular week and the reason for that is because there's another conference that we felt like we needed to exhibit at and have a presence at that's in Colorado so we're on opposite sides of the, the country here, and Melissa's doing the SILS conference, the Sexual Integrity Leadership Summit. And again, meeting a lot of people we've been uh, connecting here this first day, a lot of great connections there, new connections, old connections for her. But again, we couldn't do this work without your partnership with us in so many different ways and uh, opening doors for us. For those of you who are listening to this, if you've never <clears throat> actually introduced your pastors, your church leaders to the work of, of Love and Truth Network, there are very few churches that wouldn't benefit from uh, the ministry of Love and Truth Network. Very few churches that are already doing uh, the work of restoring relational and sexual wholeness and who are really equipped on not just um, heterosexual issues like pornography addiction or sex before marriage or adultery or whatever that's so rampant in the church, but also equipped when it comes to LGBTQ issues. So again, be an advocate for us, connect us with those that you know uh, who are influencers, those who are in leadership, that would be so helpful. And if and pray for us, and if you're able to uh, financially give to support the work we're doing, again, that just helps us to be able to, to go to all of these different events. Again, a lot of excitement here at CMDA. We're looking forward to the rest of our, our time here. And I'll update you uh, probably on the last day or so on how things went. Thank you so much.